What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to remove bugs from the front of your car. Now this one here of course is my Porsche and it has Virginia bugs, huge massive um, bugs that I got at the track at VIR and I left it for a couple of days because we had to come back and it's a 10 hour trip uh, on, on a tractor trailer. So um, perfect example, we're going to talk about three things in specific in this video. One is the speed with which you remove the bugs. So did they sit a long time like this or did you remove them immediately right after your drive? So that's topic one. Topic two is going to be uh, is the car filthy like this one here and you're going to have to, it requires a full wash anyways or is the car let's say uh, you know coming back from a concourse or you're on a hot date or whatever and your car's perfectly clean but you have a few bugs and you want to clean them off uh, quickly. We're going to talk about that. The third one of course is protection. Is the car protected beforehand, which it should have been, um, and what products you can use or not use, uh, let's say all-purpose cleaners, and what's the consequence to the paint? That's kind of a, a, a very important um, sort of thing that needs to, needs to be thought about before you wash that. That and a lot more coming up on this episode of Ride Along. So scenario one, pretend the car is clean, which it's not. Uh, we're going to, and I just, I went on a hot date and it was awesome and I have a bug splatter right there when I got home. So typically uh, during the summer months, I leave a bucket like this inside my garage right in the front area and it's got a little bit of water in there. And so what I'll do is we're gonna talk about three separate um, ways to clean it. And I have three, three things here. And like I said before, with the interior, um, you know, remember, remember we started with just a microfiber towel and then we went to the brush and then we went to the scrub pad. Same idea here, different tools, but the same mentality. So the first thing is a microfiber towel, the best way to clean it. And again, in this scenario, this has been a brand new, so this is almost still wet, still uh, not dry yet. So you're gonna come in here with a spray wax and you're gonna get very close to the bug and blast it, kind of almost try to use the pressure from the, the, from the trigger and sometimes, depending on how soft the paint is, my paint's pretty soft, I'll, hit a, I'll put a little bit on the microfiber towel as well, and you're gonna scoop. Ooh, see, look, that actually worked. Even on this, and this car, again, has been, uh, 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 you know, it's been a while, since I, probably, probably uh, six or seven days since these bugs got on there. So I'll lightly wipe that. What's interesting about microfiber towels is it's designed to pick up, so it's perfect for this. All right, so let's assume that the bug was a lot harder to get off, right? So if this bucket is in the front of the garage where, my, where I park my car, or you fill it up, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt to do on a regular basis, I'll take my bug sponge, which you guys are saying, yeah, why didn't you use the bug sponge, right? And it's got a little bit of water. This has a little bit of soap in it now because I just did it, but even if it's just straight water, I'll drip it on the area just to kind of get it a little bit wet, right? Hit it again with spray wax and then wipe it. That's assuming that you didn't get it with the first try, but I'm pretty sure, I can almost guarantee that if it's if it's uh, brand spanking new, meaning the bug just got there and it's still kind of wiggling, uh, you'll be able to get it off with a microfiber towel. So for me, the number one way, add lubrication and use a microfiber towel within speed. So that would be uh, step one or the most advantageous way to remove a bug, uh, again, was with speed. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, on to scenario two. And in this scenario, the car would be dirty. Perfect example is this one here. That's actually true. The car is very dirty, so you're going to go through the wash process. Now, obviously, step one is wildly ideal. Why? Because bugs have acid in them. We all sort of know that. The exoskeleton, the chitin, the shells. Basically, what happens is over time, they cook onto your paint and they etch through. A lot of the Floridians know those love bugs absolutely pepper the car, destroy it, um, and they just eat through. So obviously, speed is wildly important. But you're going to say to yourself, Larry, I, you know, I have a life. I, I, I can't just wipe it every 30 seconds. Totally get that. So like this scenario, uh, we're going to do a full wash. Now, how is this different? When you're doing a full wash, you have the opportunity, unlike scenario one, where you're going to use hose, it, a hose or a power washer. If you have a power washer, this is like the perfect time to absolutely use one of those. And you're going to blast away the bugs. Makes sense. So let's talk about a regular wash like this one needs. You're going to use your regular wash mitt, but there's two specific areas that you don't want to use 
this very nice mitt on and of course that's going to be the windshield because it's totally peppered and the front and uh you know the if you have a porsche or something that's flat here you're gonna not do the the lights as well why because you don't want to get all those bugs jammed in there because essentially those are like little miniature rocks that can scratch the paint so wash the car in the normal fashion top to bottom we've talked about that at length do the wheels etc but when you get to this area it should already be rinsed because you've done that beforehand then when you get here you're going to dunk your mitt uh, excuse me your wash uh, towel your microfiber towel into the water so it's nice and wet and it's full of soap and you're going to lightly rub the area and it should come off right okay what happens if it doesn't come off then you're going to dunk your um, your uh, your bug sponge and lightly go in straight lines no circles because uh, it's getting a little bit more aggressive and what happens is the uh, the mesh on those those bug sponges actually catch the bug the dead guts in between the mesh and it kind of rips them off kind of pulls them off the paint which is a great way of doing that but again you know we're working in tiers here because you don't want to go too too strong you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on it so keep that in mind when you're washing your car um, the least amount of aggression obviously is going to be uh, very very important so let's finish this wash Okay, now that the front is all done, let's talk about the glass and recap the, the steps. Just like we did on the front, if you are driving and the car is clean, you wanna do something quick, use the microfiber towel, a little bit of spray wax, do it with speed, meaning right afterwards, and you're good to go. The microfiber towel is pretty cool, actually acts as a bug remover because of the microfiber. Two, if you need to wash the car, you can use, dunk the microfiber in there in soap and wash it down like that. If you need the next grade up, you're gonna use uh, this bug sponge, all the stuff we just talked about. Now with glass, I don't really go through those tiers. Why? Because glass is very strong, it's very hard. I don't kind of, I don't know, I don't really wanna waste my time using a, a, a my nice sponge, because I don't wanna get it all messed up, nor do I wanna use a microfiber towel, because I don't know, it's a waste of time. So I go right for the two harder ones, and actually, or one harder one, and I added even, even, even a more aggressive one. So in theory, yes, you can use a bug sponge and it comes off a little bit aggressive and you can see it comes off no problem but again most of the time i'm usually under a little bit of speed time pressure so i'll rinse it down what i do is i take the bug sponge or whatever i have in my hand and do this kind of thing right lubrication and i'll come in just like uh we're doing a regular glass cleaning remember we had that video on how to clean glass properly and i do this at the track too because i don't have a whole lot of time in between sessions and i'll go like this remember see the angle that i have not too steep not too this way not up and down I just come just like this and it's as perfectly clean as you could ever imagine. So um, this is the way that I clean glass. You can use clay. You can use clay as well. Um, that's something that's also good. But again, it's a, just another thing that you got to carry in a box. This just comes with me everywhere when I go to the track or at home and it's, it's quick and easy. So let's hop back down there. We'll recap. We'll talk about protection and some of the things you're probably asking yourself. How come you didn't talk about all purpose cleaners? We're, we're going to do that right now. Now that the car is clean and free of any bugs, uh, we're gonna talk about the protection aspect of this little process, and then later on we'll talk about my, my views on all-purpose cleaner. So, the first thing, in the scenario one, when the car was clean and you're just picking off a few bugs after your, uh, you know, your concourse event, Typically, what I'll do is I'll take spray wax again, spray it down, and then I have my wet or damp microfiber towel, just like the hydrate process. I'll do a few squirts on there. Remember, hydrate is a little bit more viscous, so you'll see how it comes out. I'll put it in there and then I'll wipe down and it's gonna be a little bit wet with spray wax. And remember, you didn't wash the whole car and I'm just gonna put a little bit more protection on there because of course, every time you know you wipe a car, you're, you're pulling off little minute layers. So that would be my, we're talking less than 20 seconds. So that would be the way that I would protect it in that one. In scenario two, when I wash the car down, you're gonna wash the entire thing like we talked about, get all the bugs off again, you're gonna use hydrate to dry the car off. You do that naturally. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna use uh, skin or whatever sealant you wanna use and put it on my pad. And then I'll lightly, again, we're talking instead of 20 seconds, we're talking a minute and 20 seconds to just re-add another layer of uh, protection because this gets beat up. You can imagine, stick your head out the window like this for 200 miles. You think about all the things that hit your face. You'd want some protection on it. This is the face of my car. So. Um, Think about that, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, speed is the number one thing, and I think protection. If your car is protected, your life is going to be a whole lot easier. One last note, uh, AP cleaner here, or all-purpose cleaner. When I think of all-purpose cleaner, um, let me say this. There's no magic bullet, and I think sometimes people think, ooh, I'm going to put all-purpose cleaner on the front of my car, and that's just going to get all the bugs off. It doesn't work that way. Uh, a lot of pro detailers know that you're going to have to use some sort of, uh, 
you know, like a method that we talked about with a tool and, and soap. Um, so all-purpose cleaner, even if you spray it on there, uh, it's not just going to make the bugs go away. The second point about all, uh, all AP cleaner is if you spray it on here, you so I sort of think of it like uh, like a bomb. You know what I mean? Like you, you, it just takes all the good and takes all the bad. It just destroys everything. Um, and I'm not willing to do that. I'd rather be in this scenario a sniper. I like to come in there, boom, take the take the bug away and leave everything else. So no collateral damage. So I think um, for this, I typically use it on the lower rocker panels, the wheel wells, the engine compartment, things that have oil and tar and that sort of material. Bugs, I, it's, just not, uh, it's just not designed uh, necessarily for that. So keep that in mind, because what you're gonna end up doing is taking off all that protection um, if you do use it. Having said that, if it works for you, then keep doing it, but keep in mind that you're going to have to put protection back on the car. There, there's no if, ends, or buts about it. You got to protect the car after you use AP Cleaner. So, I wanted to show you my steps. This is not uh, this is not something I use for this particular job. Of course, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And you know. My last point is the purpose of your car, I think, is to get bugs on it. That's kind of my little analogy, to get the wheels dirty, to have fun, to enjoy it, to beat it up. Um, don't, go, don't go too crazy. Do the right things, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's really important to, to enjoy your car. So I love, I love the rock chips. I love the bugs. Um, that means a lot to me, but at some point, you got to clean them up too. So I'll see you guys next time.